Timo, thanks for taking a few minutes for us today. Uh, we're stood here by a 50 kilowatt power cell and we want to see where that fits into the e-car market. Yeah, it's an interesting product from Simicron. And you know, everybody talks about e-car and, and the market. But the problem is that for widespread EV adoption, you need an accessible charging infrastructure. Okay. And uh, there will be chargers expected to be in very much different locations, like highways, on the destinations like retail stores and home and office charging. Okay. But we are not there yet. And major drivers are cost, reliability and availability. And we are still a long way to go yet. Okay, sounds like quite a lot of challenges. Uh, is there anything unique that we're doing here that's going to help those challenges? Yeah, with this power cell, we want to enable companies to develop their own charger with a unique or with a qualified power electronics platform. It's a modular approach. So it's easy to parallel and it also addresses like a 500 volt DC output as well as 1000 volt DC output for future car generations to come. Okay. And it's easy to parallel for companies to use and to build their own uh, charging portfolio from 50 kilowatt up to 350 kilowatt or even beyond to that. So you use the term power cell though. What, what do we mean when we say power cell? So with well, power cell, this includes everything what is required for the power electronics for a DC charger. It includes a three phase PSC. It includes a galvanic isolated DC DC converter as well as including the filters or required filters. We have a communication interface to the customer's charge controller. So it includes everything what is required just to really um, help the customers to deploy their charger system in the market. So really this, we're taking all the power electronics off their table? Exactly. Okay. And they can focus on really getting the widespread adoption of their EV charging to the market. Fabulous. Timo, it sounds very exciting. Thanks very much.